Keanu Reeves, the star of John Wick, is rumored to be cast as the villain in Will Smith's redemption project I Am Legend 2. Keanu Reeves has always had a successful career, but his stardom skyrocketed when he starred in the action movie John Wick. Meanwhile, Will Smith, the star of Bad Boys, has been through some personal difficulty in the last year following the controversy surrounding his Oscar slap. Now, there have been reports that the duo will be working on a project, and with Reeves' presence in the film, it might help Smith get back to his groove. The sequel to I Am Legend movie is reportedly pushing forward with the John Wick star as the main antagonist. A new scoop from Giant Freakin' Robot's trusted source reported that Keanu Reeves would finally switch to the bad side and will serve as the villain in Will Smith's I Am Legend 2. Fans have rarely seen the actor play an evil role, so this new project seems very exciting both for the actor and the fans. The sequel to I Am Legend has been delayed for quite a long time, especially after Smith's infamous incident at the Academy Awards that forced him to lie low for months. Now that the actor is finally taking action to redeem himself, the post-apocalyptic science fiction project seems to be happening in the near future. Keanu Reeves' participation in the film is yet unknown, and many aspects are being withheld. According to GFR, the Matrix actor will play one of the Dark Seekers, possibly the boss of these vampire-like antagonists. There's also a chance that the Constantine actor will be the leader of a band of human survivors who clash with Robert Neville. With the exception of his directorial debut Man of Tai Chi in 2013, the 58-year-old actor rarely plays the villain. This will be a new chapter in his career and a showcasing of his versatility as an actor. In addition to Keanu Reeves, Creed actor Michael B. Jordan will join the cast. Will Smith initially declined to make the sequel, but in an interview with Entertainment Tonight, he stated that it was Jordan who persuaded him. The thought occurred to me, I can't discuss it yet, but it's a pretty cool concept, and he was a part of coming up with it. It was one of those things I was going to leave alone until I got the idea, but it could work. I believe we can pull it off. Although details about the sequel are scarce, producer Akiva Goldsman shared some insights that he wanted to incorporate into the project. This will start a few decades later than the first. I'm obsessed with The Last of Us, where we see the world just post-apocalypse but also after a 2030 year lapse. You see how the Earth reclaims the world, and there's something beautiful in the question of, as man steps away from being the primary tenant, what happens? He also noted that the movie would lean into the original Richard Matheson novel, as opposed to the release storyline in the first installment. We trace back to the original Matheson book and the alternate ending as opposed to the released ending in the original film. What Matheson was talking about was that man's time on the planet as the dominant species had come to an end. That's a really interesting thing we're going to get to explore. There will be a little more fidelity to the original text.